Perseverance rover on Mars two weeks ago gave us all something to feel good about during this difficult time. And the party's not over. NASA is getting ready to launch a one of a kind helicopter that went along for the ride down to the surface of the red planet. And it has deep Bay Area roots. Here's our business to tech reporter, Scott Budman. Now that the Perseverance rover has landed, the focus is about to turn to its partner in crime, the Ingenuity helicopter. Developed by NASA, largely at the Bay Area's Ames Research Center in Mountain View, Ingenuity is a bit like a tourist. It will soon fly above the Martian surface, taking pictures. So the public will get a very interesting perspective from a flying vehicle on Mars. We get cool photos. Engineers get to see if all that wind tunnel work paid off, and this little machine can actually fly through the Martian atmosphere, where, among other things, it gets really, really cold. The batteries on Ingenuity, about 30% of the batteries have to be used as margin just to make the vehicle survive through the Martian night. It's not even having anything to do with flying. Also on board, Bay Area radios. One on the rover and then one on the, on the helicopter itself. Made by the Zigbee Alliance, it's the same technology that lets your Amazon Alexa communicate with the lights or computers in your house. So it's great for small devices like, you know, a hub to a light bulb, but it's also really good for a helicopter to a rover to just kind of check where it is and, and tell it what to do. So and in that sense, it actually makes a lot of sense. Communication, photo sharing, and engineering. All on a planet we humans may someday try to reach. The plan for the Ingenuity helicopter is to take five flights in 30 days, or in Martian terms, 30 souls while on the red planet. The initial flight date is set for sometime in mid-April. At NASA Ames, Scott Budman, NBC, Bay Area News. So 